Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. Uh, on to Thursday we go. 84 degrees right now in Miami. 93 is what it feels like with the humidity, and that's what we hit. It's an actual air temperature early this afternoon, a couple of degrees above our typical high, and only picked up a tenth of an inch of rainfall. That's been the story, really, with this pattern. This northeast flow that brings in those flying showers that move in anywhere from 20 to 25 miles an hour. They're in, they're out, and then we get a little bit more. Same deal. We have one that has crossed over uh, through a Cutler Bay down towards the homestead, but um, once these come in, they dissipate rather quickly. Rain tracker picking up on a few more developing. Nothing torrential, nothing severe, and no lightning. We have not had our thunderstorms that are typical for this time of year. That's going to change up coming up for the weekend, uh, so rain chances will increase a bit. Not going to be a huge deal for Saturday, Sunday. That will, you know, make us alter our plans here, but we'll get back into a more typical pattern of the passing showers pattern will be done with us here. So favoring inland thunderstorms anyway this weekend as everything continues uh, to favor the West Coast as that easterly wind is uh, going to be with us. And then tropical moisture is uh, going to be involved as we head into next week. So we are going to turn into a stormier pattern on rain track. You'll be able to see tomorrow's development once again of these showers that will continue to come in. We'll do that again on Friday and then more typical coverage as we head into fr into a Saturday and through the uh, rest of the upcoming weekend. All right, in the tropics, uh, we have uh, several areas we're still watching uh, the remnants of Emily up towards the North Atlantic. Then we have a tropical wave in the east. Franklin uh, is impacting uh, with uh, the island of Hispaniola, but now finally pulling away. 11 p.m. advisory. The winds are back up at 45 miles an hour. This will continue to happen. The winds will go up. The pressure will go down, and this will likely become our next hurricane. In fact, the forecast from the NHC has it at 105 by Sunday night and on Monday night with winds of 110, but it's staying safely away from the U.S. The only impacts will be indirect and uh, They'll be in the form of swells that will be propagated toward the west. So there is Emily at the potential for 70 or the remnants of Emily. If this develops and it has a high chance of doing so, it will regain its name. It doesn't get uh, a new one so long as there's still a signature there from the last uh, time it became a tropical storm. And then there's that wave with a low chance. This is the new area that's highlighted from the National Hurricane Center. There's nothing there. It's just one of our computer models. The European is hinting at slow development through this weekend, heading into early next week. So we'll watch this area here with the potential movement towards uh, the north, but uh, something just to watch right now uh, as it's tagged by the, uh, the National Hurricane Center at 20%. All right, for tomorrow, temps still in the lower 90s. It's still going to be a steamy day but the rain chances tolerable here. 30% coverage through Friday and then that little bump towards uh, the weekend before we get into higher rain chances next week.